Strong words tonight to the federal government from California's Attorney General Javier Becerra, who today said immigrants living in California should not believe they don't have rights. Yeah, he scheduled a press conference amid rumors of an imminent immigration enforcement sweep in the state. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez joining us live now in the newsroom with more. Leanne? Well, you know, this is another example that California continues to go head to head against the Trump administration. And today, the attorney general spelled it out for immigration officials, saying the Constitution is the Constitution and people have rights. Attorney General Javier Becerra said he came armed with facts, not rumors, regarding possible immigration enforcement raids in California. Immigration enforcement must be done according to federal law and certainly according to the U.S. Constitution. Becerra reminded people that California now has two new laws in effect this year when it comes to federal immigration enforcement. Senate Bill 54 enforces non-cooperation policies between California law enforcement agencies and federal immigration authorities. And Assembly Bill 450, which says immigration officials are not allowed access to a private area of a work site or access to employee records without a warrant. And there's more. AB 450 tries to make sure that as an employer, you are not sharing information that is not readily available to the public. Anyone who violates the new law faces fines of up to $10,000. The recent 7-Eleven ICE raids across the country worry undocumented immigrants here. We're putting money into resources that can help the um, population and, and help them with some challenges that they may face. The city gives financial help to the San Francisco Rapid Response Network which provides legal assistance to those who have been detained by ICE. People who don't know what their rights are um, can just sign away their rights and be deported within a matter of hours. We have seen that happen. Yesterday, Oakland's mayor Libby Schaff said she was willing to go to jail to protect sanctuary city policy. Today, San Francisco's acting mayor echoed that sentiment. I wouldn't mind basically going to jail for the first time in my life over. Now, according to ICE, the number of undocumented immigrants has gone up 42 percent since President Trump took office. Those are arrests, not deportations. And we have to make it very clear that the number of deportations under Mr. Trump is well below what we saw under the Obama administration. In the newsroom, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.